When we think about a traditional socialite, we often refer to someone hailed from established upper-class families with inherited wealth. Their social status was typically linked to their family's historical significance and generational wealth. The primary role of traditional socialites was to participate in the social scene by attending galas, charity balls, and high society gatherings, and to uphold and perpetuate family traditions and societal norms. While traditionally the term implied a kind of leisure class that did not engage in professional careers, modern socialites may still come from wealthy backgrounds, but it's increasingly common for them to have self-made wealth. They are often brand ambassadors, influencers, and entrepreneurs, or even fake wealth. So anyone nowadays can address themselves as a socialite. Whether you're drawn to the glamour, the networking opportunities, or the exclusive events, today's video will guide you through the steps to not only enter high society but also thrive in it. So if you're ready to make your mark on the social scene. Stick around for our six invaluable tips. Number one, creating a strong personal brand. To establish a unique style, an identity, and a strong image that sets you apart, this could be a particular type of personality. We have to talk about the most iconic socialite in the early 2000s media landscape, Paris Hilton. Born in New York City, growing up in Manhattan's Waldorf Astoria Hotel. Paris Hilton is a member of the Hilton family, notable for their vast hotel empire. Her great grandfather was Conrad Hilton, the founder of Hilton Hotels. What is her iconic personal brand? Her Barbie looks, her surname, her social life, and her bold personality made her a sought-after figure. She was a staple on the NYC party scene, known for her fashion-forward outfits and high-profile friendships. Paris Hilton may not have the best taste for fashion, but her iconic image made her undeniable influence in the fashion world. What if you do not have anything compared to her, like the 99% of the people in this world? Well, a personal brand could be as simple as a particular body figure, like Kim Kardashian. We like her fabulous big butt. Ideally, your brand should reflect who you are. And appeal to the circles you want to enter. If not, at least be special enough to be remembered. Think about what makes you unique and how you can showcase that through your wardrobe, your online presence, and your behavior. Your personal brand should fit your niche. Number two, network strategically. Kim Kardashian first came into the limelight through her friendship with socialite Paris Hilton. Appearing on various episodes of Hilton's reality television series, Kim Kardashian went from a lowly assistant in the dazzling world of Hilton, has risen to become America's top internet celebrity, while the former pioneer has seen her limelight fade. After Paris Hilton's sex tape was distributed as One Night in Paris, what followed is well documented in pop culture. The tape no doubt buoyed interest in Hilton's TV show. The Simple Life. Kim Kardashian followed Paris's footprint, her reality TV show, Keeping Up with the Kardashians, increased significantly after a sex tape with her former boyfriend Ray J was leaked. A good friendship not only offers you a job, take you travel all over the world, but show you a step-by-step -step lesson on how to get famous. After you become more famous than your friends. You can finally say that I was not your assistant; we just work together. If there are some tips I would give on making friends with the rich, I would say: first, being sincere. High society values loyalty and sincerity, since everybody wants a piece of their money and fame. I've noticed people treating me differently because my parents had money. I think that's why in friends that I have now, the major. Quality I look for is sincerity. Second, offer value. When the lower class talks about moral standards, upper class aims for value exchange. Be someone who adds value to gatherings by being knowledgeable, entertaining, or supportive.
having a particular expertise or being known for a charming personality can make you a desired guest. If you are good at organizing, do it for your friend. If you love to shop, shop for your friends. Be an asset, not a liability. Number three, your boyfriend or husband. If Kim Kardashian made herself from nobody to somebody, then her ex-husband Kanye West, with whom she shares four children, brought her from somebody to classy. The Kardashian sisters' fashion route started in 2006 when they opened a boutique called Dash, which was known for its unattractive merchandise, ultimately leading to its closure. Following Paris allowed Kim to start gaining media exposure. And even access to small fashion red carpet events where her looks were quite disastrous. At that time, Kim didn't have much disposable income. For example, she once mentioned struggling to afford a Fendi belt and boots, which she wore for every significant occasion. In 2007, Kim gained popularity in America, and the Kardashian family's reality show debuted in 2008. At the show's premiere. Kim wore an outfit that she borrowed from her own boutique, Dash, which many consider one of her worst red carpet looks ever. As the reality show gained traction, Kim began to gain a modest fame in the U.S., supplementing her income by hosting nightclub parties. However, without a professional styling team and the funds for high-end fashion, her aesthetic was not well received. She experimented with different hairstyles and consistently wore nightclub-style outfits, which were not critically acclaimed. Her fashion career began to take off around the time she started dating Kanye West in 2012. Without Kanye, there might not be the fashion icon Kim Kardashian we know today. In 2012, Kanye overhauled Kim's wardrobe, discarding her nightclub-style clothes and replacing them with high fashion brands, which he stuffed into Kim's closet. Despite cleaning out the closet, Kanye smartly chose to keep and highlight Kim's long-established sexy image. Kim always loved tight clothes that showcased her curves, but under Kanye's influence, she learned to simplify her choices and further accentuate her figure. Many might be intimidated by her prominent curves, but you cannot deny that this unique personal style made her memorable. During this period. Kim also frequently collaborated with makeup artist Mario, which helped solidify her personal style. She gradually began to gain acceptance in the fashion world. So, what fashion achievements did she accomplish during this stage? Let's review her timeline. Many years ago, before meeting Kanye, no mainstream fashion magazine would feature her, except for magazines like Playboy, which weren't considered prestigious as they often required nudity. However, In 2013, Kanye was invited to attend the Met Gala as a guest, but Kim was not invited. Despite this, Kim still boldly attended. That year, Vogue's official website posted photos from the red carpet, but deliberately cropped out Kim, showing no courtesy to her. In 2014, Kim landed her first Vogue cover, which Kanye had to beg for from Anna Wintour. The cover. Featuring both Kim and Kanye, faced significant backlash. Many Vogue readers even threatened to cancel their subscriptions, and some internet users created mock Vogue covers to ridicule Kim, highlighting her notoriety rather than her fashion sense. From this, we can see that Kim was not well liked in the fashion industry at the time, but I admire her for her resilience and ambition. Despite much criticism and skepticism, she never gave up on her fashion career. By 2014, Kim was already 34 years old and no longer a young newcomer. However, fashion, no matter how elite, must bow to popularity. From 2013 onwards, she became a regular presence at major events. Additionally, she secured the cover of Paper magazine. Which was quite interesting and worth a look. What's even more impressive is that in 2015, Kim alone secured the solo cover for Vogue in Spain, Australia, and Brazil. October 2016 as a turning point, because Kim was robbed at gunpoint in Paris at that time, an experience that taught her to keep a lower profile.
After some time out of the public eye, when she returned, you could see that her style had become even more diverse while still maintaining her signature sexy aesthetic. She elevated sexy to a new level, and one classic moment was when Kanya immediately got a green car to match Kim's green dress. She wore out one day. It's undeniable that the couple goes all out for fashion. Kim also transformed into the perfect spokesperson for Kanya's brand, Yeezy, using unexpected ways to match Yeezy outfits, which was a pleasing sight. Additionally, Kim tried a new short haircut and appeared as a chic urban professional. In 2019, at the Met Gala, despite many celebrities attending, Vogue gave Kim the cover, a testament to her status in the fashion world. If you want to learn more, please download our ebook. Dress like a socialite. This story highlights the importance of having a partner who is not only wealthy and has good taste, but also deeply cares for you. A man is just a stepping stone, and eventually your goals, dreams, and ambitions keep you going up. Our course, Marry to the High Society, has a special offer now. Please check it out. Number four. Boost your audience with traditional media. In 2003, Paris starred in The Simple Life, a reality TV show with her then best friend Nicole Ritchie. The show, which placed the duo in rural communities to live and work as average Americans, was a huge hit and ran for five seasons. It cemented Paris's image as a ditzy blonde a stereotype she later admitted to playing up for the camera. In 2007, the reality TV show Keeping Up with the Kardashians premiered, featuring Kim and her family's lavish and often dramatic lifestyles. The show became a massive hit, catapulting all members of the family to stardom and becoming a cultural phenomenon. It ran for 20 seasons, ending in 2021. If you have nothing fancy, Check out this woman, Anna Delvey, a con artist and fraudster who posed as a wealthy heiress to access upper-class New York social and art scenes, made her story to Netflix show, Inventing Anna. Do not underestimate the power of traditional media, such as TV shows and reality series, wield significant influence by shaping public perception, driving cultural trends, and providing widespread exposure that can transform relatively unknown individuals into household names. You do not need to have an affluent background, as long as you have an interesting story to tell. Number 5. Cultivate a Strong Social Media Presence While traditional socialites' exposure in the media was limited to society pages in newspapers or feature articles in magazines, Modern socialites are highly visible on social media platforms where they can directly interact with a global audience. Their lives are more transparent, with constant updates that give a more personal glimpse into their lifestyles. Despite various reversals, when Forbes announced that he was the youngest self-made billionaire at the age of 21, Kylie Jenner, Kardashian's youngest sister, indeed caused a sensation across the global internet. As of October 2022, she has even topped the charts, becoming the female with the highest number of followers on Instagram, boasting 370 million fans. Although first gained major media attention through keeping up with the Kardashians, from 2007 to 2022, the camera has recorded Kylie growing up from a little schoolgirl through her teenage rebellious phase to adulthood to becoming a mother. So. The question arises, she's neither a singer, nor an actress, nor a sports star. She's just a reality TV star, a celebrity. So why do so many people like Kylie Jenner? Kylie Jenner's fans are mainly teenage girls. Those who are trapped in a predicament of individualism are very eager for some kind of community connection to gain a sense of belonging. This is why many people like to chase stars like to establish fan groups, right? And some people, if they can't find that community, might turn to Internet to find resonance through the smartphone screen just watching this person 
then being able to feel a sense of connection in a parallel universe. Also, everyone loves a Cinderella story. Kylie, she's the black sheep of the family. Her appearance was once considered the bottom of the family, and people mainly compare her to her sister Kendall. You can say there are many business and emotional intelligence differences, but you can't deny this sister really is impeccable in appearance. In the early reality TV days, a young Kylie was the most carefree and unrestrained one. The blogs he posted online were self-deprecating, but after entering puberty, Sister Kendall slowly became a famous model. And then netizens day by day magnified the comparisons between reality TV stars. Everything about their family was magnified, and the grown-up Kylie began to feel inferior. The things she posted online were no longer primarily self-deprecating, but started to lean towards fashion content, using a high perspective to arm herself. She started wearing a mask, started managing a cool persona. Then she had cosmetic surgery. And netizens began to mock, saying her mouth was crazy, like a sausage mouth, ugly to death. In 2015, Kylie's entrepreneurship took a significant turn with the launch of Kylie Cosmetics, initially starting with her now iconic lip kits. A brand new beauty empire thus rose from the ground. Kylie Cosmetics set new trends, particularly in the digital marketing space. Utilizing Kylie's massive social media following for promotion, at the age of 21, Kylie successfully entered the billionaire club, according to Forbes. Social media is your runway. Choose platforms that align with your image. Instagram and TikTok are great for visuals and quick content. Share moments from events you attend, thoughtful posts about your causes, and engage regularly with your followers. This builds a community around your personal brand and keeps you relevant. Number six, collaborate with brands and famous. After Paris Hilton gradually generated negative news due to behaviors like drunk driving and unlicensed driving, and even sentenced to jail, apparently threatened by Kardashians' rising fame, making their relationship increasingly awkward, in 2008. Hilton publicly ridiculed Kardashians' buttocks in the media as disgusting, like cheese stuffed in a trash bag. Even when interviewed and asked which member of the Kardashian family she liked the most, she bluntly answered that she liked Ray J. While Kardashian responded by saying Hilton was just jealous that she had done what Hilton did, but much better. Although Hilton called to apologize at that time, it was clear that they could no longer be good friends. After becoming famous, Kardashian launched her own dress-up game, which brought in fifty-one million dollars in revenue and sold her own emoji at one dollar ninety-nine cents each, quickly topping the Apple download charts. Despite their privileged backgrounds compared to Hilton's restaurant tycoon backing, Kardashian, with a lawyer father, could only be considered middle class. In her youth, Hilton was quite ambitious. As Kardashian's personal career began to improve, she unhesitatingly stated in an interview that she created Kim Kardashian, claiming her entire family owed her a favor. In 2011, Kardashian claimed in an interview that she and Hilton had not spoken for a long time. Their broken friendship only began to change three years later. In 2014, Kardashian married Kanye West, and after the marriage. Her worth soared along with Kanye's dominating the American entertainment industry for six years. Hilton's attitude also changed over the years. The two attended an Italian designer's birthday party together for the first time in years, and it was shared on social media. In a 2015 magazine interview, Hilton changed her tune, stating that Kardashian, like herself, was professional, determined, calm, and sweet. And that she was proud of her. Kardashian did not slap Hilton in the face. Instead, she opportunistically invited Hilton to a party and let her endorse her KKKW beauty perfume. In 2018, Hilton even dressed up as Kardashian to attend Kanye West's Yeezy fashion show. In 2021, to promote Kardashian's new clothing brand, Skims.
Hilton and Kardashian recreated their classic 2006 scene of shopping with giant metallic Louis Vuitton bags. Kardashian also appeared as a guest on Hilton's latest show, Cooking with Paris, where they cooked together in the kitchen. In the kitchen, Kardashian, not upset by Hilton's ridiculous behavior, patiently put on rubber gloves and guided Hilton step by step through the cooking process. Today, Hilton's personal fortune is $300 million, and Kardashian's is $350 million. The two are now equally matched. The once little follower has successfully turned the tables, becoming the new generation's topic queen. Hilton and Kardashian's sisterly relationship has shown people a lesson. If you are below to me, we are friends. If you are better than me, we are enemies. When you are strong enough to crush me, we can still be friends. And there you are. You climb to the top of the social ladder. Now it's not all champagne, red carpets and fancy parties. It's about maintaining your relationship, your reputation and your brand, and contributing to society. Throughout the 2000s, Paris's image was a blend of admiration and notoriety. Aside from television, Paris ventured into various businesses. She has released 28 perfumes as of 2021, created a nightclub brand, designed handbags, and more. Her entrepreneurial spirit has shown her to be more than just a socialite. She is a savvy businesswoman with a broad portfolio, proving she is more than capable of reinventing herself and remaining relevant in the public eye. Kim has had numerous ventures, including the launch of KKW Beauty and KKW Fragrance in 2017. Her foray into the shapewear space with Skims in 2019 proved highly successful, praised for its inclusivity in sizing and diversity. In recent years, Kim has ventured into advocacy, particularly in criminal justice reform. Getting your name out there is just the beginning, and whatever follows depends on your plan and your behavior. It is a lifelong career. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss more insights about the art of social climbing. Thanks for watching, and see you next time with more tips on living a fabulous life.